special holiday edition as we're counting down the days until Christmas. As part of a YouTube creator, I have been challenged for the month of December to do videos every day from December 1st all the way to December 25th as part of what they call Vlogmas. So I have been doing that every day and if you need to catch up, I will put the playlist of all of, um, all of the videos up above and you can just click it. It'll be on this side or this side. I'm not sure which one, but <laughs> somewhere up there I'll have it if you want to click the playlist but today I want to talk to you about keeping Christ in Christmas as I was preparing my Sunday school lesson to teach this past week and I was looking over the scriptures I just started thinking about Christ's birth and how when he was born there was no room for him Luke chapter 2 verse 7 says and she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there's no room for him in the inn. So here he is, Jesus Christ is being born and Mary and Joseph have nowhere for their child. There's no room for them. No one would make room for them. It made me think though. Here he is, he was being born centuries ago and there was no room for him. And here we are in 2020, we celebrate Christmas, but we could get so busy and so caught up in the season of Christmas that we don't have room for him in Christmas, whereby there's no room for Christ in Christmas. The whole point, the whole reason for the giving he is the reason for the season. The whole reason for giving gifts is because the wise men brought gifts to baby Jesus. But we could get so caught up in the commercialism of Christmas until we can be guilty of leaving Christ out of Christmas. We have some children that know about Santa and they know about the elf. But they don't know about baby Jesus. Because we are taking Christ out of Christmas. So we have to make sure that we are being purposeful of making sure that we are celebrating and teaching our little ones and putting that, even though all the different traditions we have, that we are still including Christ in Christmas. When they say, stop saying Merry Christmas, and they tell you to say, because it's offensive to some people, say, um, Happy Holidays. Well, that's taking Christ out of Christmas. And there would not be a Christmas if it wasn't for the Christ being born. When they tell you, don't call it a Christmas tree, call it a holiday tree. Again, that's allowing others to take Christ out of Christmas. And there would be no Christmas if it wasn't for the Christ. When they tell us to spell it X-M-A-S versus C-H-R-I-S-T, because it's too long to write it all out. No, that's taking Christ out of Christmas. And there would be no Christmas if it wasn't for the Christ. When they say, I don't have time to go to church because it's the last weekend to get my shopping done. Again, that is taking Christ out of Christmas. We're getting it all wrong. And I know we have all been guilty of putting and getting caught up in the season until we can take Christ out of Christmas. So I just wanted to reiterate that that is the main reason. Make sure that we are teaching our little ones about baby Jesus. In fact, one of the things I used to do with my little boys, and I still would do it, um, I'm not doing it this year because COVID, but one of the things I used to do is on Christmas Eve, the little ones in our family, the little ones, I would read this story, who was born this special day? I would always read that on Christmas Eve. That was one of our traditions. And just, again, reiterating the importance of it was about Jesus Christ. I would love to hear from you. What are some of your traditions and how you keep Christ in Christmas? 
What are you, what are some of the things that you do? Um, reading the story of Jesus Christ's birth in Luke 2. Reading that on, on, um, on Christmas Eve. Having your kids, if they're old enough, to read it along with you. Attending church services together, whether that's virtual or in person. However, you can do it safely this Christmas season. But just remember the whole reason for the season is about Christ and that we are purposeful in making sure that we are keeping Christ in Christmas. I just want to wish you and your family a Merry Christmas and Happy Vlogmas!